The Wimbrel, Numenus Baeopus, is a medium-sized shorebird with a long curved bill. They have dark brown mask-like feathering around their eyes with specks of various different shades of brown and white all over their body. The Wimbrel is probably one of the most widespread shorebirds. They are migratory birds and move south from their breeding grounds to the northern hemisphere winter. North migration is to the breeding grounds where food supply is consistently growing. They fly in groups, sometimes in a V formation or in a single file line. They can sometimes be found near the San Diego coast, migrating from the South Mexico tip to the Canada shore. This bird is not one to live with large numbers. They will live with smaller groups until it is time to migrate. Then they will fly with flocks of hundreds. During migration, they claim a territory that is off limits to other birds. They keep this feeding territory guarded against other wimbrels in defense of their food supplies. On a hike around the mouth of the San Diego River in Ocean Beach, I was able to see a single wimbrel in flight. The wimbrel typically lays four eggs that are ready to hatch between the 22nd and 28th day of incubation. When the chicks hatch, they immediately go into hiding in surrounding plants and shrubbery life. Wimbrel chicks are able to fly at two weeks old. Both parents stay with their young until they are old enough to care for themselves. They are usually about a month old when they leave the nest for good. Both the male and female wimbrel will call out to one another to let the other know where they are. This call is known as a seven whistle call because it is made up of seven single whistles. The other type of call is the display call, only performed by the male. Their call has often been described as a flute type sound, rapidly repeating. The wimbrel spends most of their days by the water or on mud flats. Their diet mostly consists of worms, crustaceans, occasionally small fish, and invertebrates, but the wimbrel will also feed on berries and insects. To catch their prey, they quickly run, stick their long curved bill in the mud, and try to find something to eat. Pecking in the ground seems to be the best method to find their prey fast. Although the adult wimbrel has few predators, they must watch out for red foxes and large carnivorous birds. As a chick just hatched, they are exposed to more dangerous threats. They can be attacked by lizards, male wimbrel, foxes, and birds of prey. Human activities, including recreation, shellfish, harvesting, fishing, and aquaculture, is likely to increase significantly in the future and ultimately diminish the wimbrel's food population. Intensive oil exploration and extraction is poisoning the water and causing most birds to find other arrangements for their habitats. In the early 19th century, hunting on these birds was considered fair game. Population began to rapidly decrease. Population numbers were never able to recover. The ban on hunting in the 1990s really helped the species, but hunting is still a very serious problem for these birds. Hardly any conservation acts have been put together to help save this species. Individual efforts made to protect and restore coastal habitats are widely appreciated. San Diego State University has conducted few research outings trying to figure out the population in comparison to the wimble reproduction. It is because of these conservation efforts that ensure the sustainability of the wimble.